Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos. Let's pull a Oracle. I don't know the name of these, but they are by Maruka X. We're gonna pull one card. We got that Eight of Swords there at the bottom of the deck. Give me one moment. Spirit. Angels. Ancestors. And higher beings. Please help me with this message today. For my beautiful pipe seeds. People, my Piscianos, what messages do we have for Pisces? We got div Diviner. You have a natural talent for divination, revealing what is hidden or hear answers that may come in many different forms to help point you in the right direction. Ooh. I think some of you are getting a calling, Pisces. I got the calling. You know, um, and I feel like there's something that is being handed down to you. You know, a lot of times with divination, I, I don't know. I just do tarot. I know there's so oh, I do, a, you know, some other things. I've been talking to trees. You know, I know there's so many different things out there like water and candles. Like you just seem to get messages, even people sometimes, like you just feel their energy and you can get the message that you're trying to get. There, there's so many different ways that divination happens, more than what people even think. You know, I feel like some of you are getting a calling um, and I, I don't know, and it could be to do tarot. It could be to um, maybe do something else along those lines, Pisces. I feel like you, you might be really good at it. Maybe one of the reasons why you're gravitated towards watching me right now is that there's something that you feel a connection to. I feel like maybe tarot, you know, tarot can be bad. Yes, it can absolutely be bad if you're watching too much of it, if you're relying too heavily on it, you know, but for a lot of people, it can bring peace to them. It can help people come out of a bad place and bring some form of peace. So it depends, Pisces, um, this energy. I, I, I'm not clear on what I'm getting here, um, but I do know that some of you have the gift. Some of you have the talent. Sometimes you don't even need cards. Sometimes you can see a person, you can talk to them, and you said exactly what it is that they needed to hear. You know, or you could be telling them exactly what is going on in their life. And they're wondering, like, how did you know that? Who are you? You know, like they're, they, they get shocked by it and you're like, oh, not everyone has this ability. You know, and I'm trying to give an example. Let's say somebody wants to ask you a question, but you already know what the question is. You know, it's something along those lines, Pisces. And they're like, how did you know I was going to ask you that? I'm like, I don't know. It's just something that comes to me. So I feel like you guys have a natural ability to pick up on energies and what's going on around you and help guide people in situations. But let's go deeper, Pisces. Let's go deeper and see what we're talking about here. Spirit, tell me more. Page of Swords. Ooh. Six of Cups, one more. Eight of Pentacles. You have a natural talent and ability that people try to either emulate or they try to... It's like somebody works twice as hard as you just to be average. That's what I'm getting. And I'm not saying this just in divination because it's just one card here. This could be in anything, anything that you do do in life. It's like you don't have to work hard at it, but somebody else has to work twice as hard 
to just be average. And that's what I'm kind of getting here, Pisces. Um, give me one moment. Do you know that someone's watching you? Do you know this, Pisces? I don't feel a lot. This could be a couple different people. So it could be someone that's watching you because they're trying to emulate you. Or it could be someone that's watching you for another reason. Because I am kind of am picking that up. I, it's like almost like they want to choose you. Like they pick you for something. You know, like they're choosing you. You know, um, like maybe you're talking to them. Like maybe it's a form of like one of your spirit guides that you're talking to, you know, and is helping you with some type of answers or, or something along those lines. Let's go deeper, Pisces. This is a little confusing, but let's see. Knight of Wands. You know, with anything that you do in life, it takes practice. Anything. You get better and better at better. Better and better. <laughs> you get better and better, Pisces. It went after practice. Um, so yeah, so I am feeling here the Knight of Wands, Pisces. Like, be consistent in whatever it is that you're doing and whatever your trade is and whatever, whatever your, um, your gift is, your ability. I don't care if it's music. I don't care if it's art. Like, really be consistent in it because I get the energy that sometimes maybe you don't consistently work on it you know um being a divination or a diviner person somebody that picks up energy from others it's like it's not an easy job you know it is one of great health a lot of emotional stability you have to have a lot of peace in your life meaning that you can't have drama all around you in order for you to pick up messages clearly I feel like somebody's acknowledging that you are capable. You have worked on yourself very hard. And so you are being the gift of seeing things that other people don't see in some way, shape or form, Pisces. It doesn't, again, just have to be like, a, you know, something you do in divination. It could just it could be in whatever your ability is, your trade, you perfecting your craft. I just heard that Nicki Minaj came to my mind. You're perfecting your craft, whatever this may be. Yes, yeah, some people will look at it like it's, you know, um, a spell, but it's not. And it's because it's not to the people that know how to channel energy. They keep themselves clean. They come from a good place. There is someone here, and I feel like with this death card, it's telling me that there's someone here on the other side. This could be like an ancestor, Pisces, that is handing down you know, their abilities to you and you're about to take it and run with it and do something really big with it. You're starting to gain confidence with it is also what I'm getting here, Pisces. You are gaining confidence. You're seeing that a lot of things that you're predicting and saying is coming true. How did you do that? A lot of your dreams are coming true. How did you do that? You're gaining confidence, Pisces. This isn't like one trick pony. This isn't like a fluke. It's not a coincidence. It's because you're being gifted with this big ability to be able to read energy and people really well. You've always had it, Pisces. You were always a good judge of character. You always were a good, like, a, like I don't know, this person is kind of giving me the creeps and it turns out they were a creep. You know, like type of vibe, Pisces. It's just now you just become so clean, so clear. You, you manage to, to take care of yourself. That's what you need to be. You need to be clear to read energy. Put no emotion into it. And I feel like you're there. You probably went through a lot of emotional stuff yourself. And then the tears dried up. And then you were almost empty, but not in an ugly place, Pisces. In a more stronger place. That's what I'm getting there. All right, I got the Six of Cups here with the Page of Pentacles. You know how to turn negativity into positivity, Pisces. You know how to take the wounds from the past, the bad memories, and make something good from it is what I'm getting. Give me one more, Spirit. Give me one more here. Some of you are getting a calling. Four of Cups here. This is like, this is gonna take you out of place of boredom as well, Pisces. I think a lot of people try to box you in. 
A lot of people try to take away your peace, tell you what you are, tell you what level you are, but it's like they're not going to see what's coming next with you. They're not going to believe that you're this incredible person that can just have a conversation with another person and read them their lives, you know, and see like everything that's going on with them. You know, it is something that in my opinion is given from a higher power that God has come and given it to you, Pisces. Like it's almost like you went through the right of way for it. You went through a place of tears and pain and now it's like you're ready. You're ready to read. You're ready to read. Some of you are ready to get your own cards and read your own things and maybe even start your own businesses, you know, in, in whatever your craft is. It could even be singing. You know, and I'll give you the example for singing. It could be like, you know, people told you with Nicki Minaj in particular, they told her that she wasn't going to be much, you know, and look at where she is today. If she would have listened to all those people that told her you're not good enough, you don't know how to connect your voice or whatever it was they told her, you know, it's like that's where she would be. But she 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 perfected her craft, Pisces. You know, and that's what I'm feeling here is a perfection of your craft. It's like it's coming for you, Pisces. It's coming for you. It's picking you. It's choosing you. It's saying you are ready in some way, shape, or form to do this. And I feel like it's also taking you out of a place of boredom. There was something that was just not good enough for you in your life and you felt like there's something, is there something else for me? Like, I feel like there's something else for me. Like, this can't be it for me. And you're right. You're absolutely right, Pisces. All right, we got the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups there in the reversal. Let's see. Let me throw one more. Let's see. Oops. All right, I'll take it. Nine of Cups. Spirit is being very clear with something here. Be very strong on your emotional stability. Work really hard to be happy, to be peaceful. Um, these are all things that are going to help you. Like whether you write poetry, whether you, I don't know what you do out there, Pisces, what, what, singing, acting, whatever it is that you do, you know, work very hard on your emotional stability. You know, make sure that you're happy and peaceful at all times. This is something that's going to help you to produce whatever it is that you want to do. Some of you could be producers is what I'm feeling. Writers, you know, a lot of you I know are writers. You guys are amazing. I've seen some of your work. Absolutely amazing. You know, but you have to come from a place of peace and clarity and it's like emotional stability. It's like that's the way you're this clear channel for something higher to come through you, Pisces. It's like no unhappiness, no pain, no anger. Anger is a big no-no, Pisces. When you have anger in your spirit or your heart, it's like you cannot channel well. You cannot pick up what, uh, what, the, what the ethers or what people up top are trying to give you, Pisces. Come clean, come correct is what I'm getting. Some of you are being asked. It's like the cards are picking you, so to say, Pisces. They're calling you. All right, Spirit, what is the outcome? We got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Let's see. Hmm. Let me do one more. A lot of you need to tune out people within your own inner circle. They're not very, um, what's the word, supportive? Yeah, they're not very supportive. Um, they believe, and I, I don't like putting weird energies out here, but I'm going to say what they believe. They believe that you may be um, in a fantasy land, Pisces. You're, you're over dreaming again. You're overshooting again, Pisces. I feel very clear here that that is not something you need to take into your craft, whatever your craft may be. Let them die, Pisces. Let them go. Let them talk to themselves in the wall. Let them, cre like, let them create their own realities for themselves. If you got to put your hand up and say, no, 
I return to sender all the negative self talk that you put over my life and I give it back to you. I'm going to be staying clear here. I'm going to gain more confidence. I'm going to put more work into it. I'm going to perfect my craft, whatever your craft is. And I'm going to listen to higher beings and higher up above people that are channeling through me in order to give me the messages and the downloads that I need at this time. Some of you are being chosen to do something big, to write something big. It's like a jing, it could even be a jingle, Pisces. You know, like, you, what's a, I'm trying to find a good example. Like sometimes a jingle comes, you know, like I, I can't think of one right now. Like, you know, there, um, what's at the center of a Tootsie Pop, you know, like stuff like that, like little things that went a long way and stayed within a person for a long time. That was probably a really stupid example, but I think I'm trying to express what it is and I'm not finding a good example right now. Like a good jingle, like something that stays with you, Pisces, that stays with the masses for generations to generations to generations. It's like, that's what you want to pick up on. That's what you want to pull from the ethers. You have the ability. You are being selected. You are being chosen. You've always had this ability, but you're honing in on it now is what I'm getting here. Do not get distracted by people and their small minds is what I'm basically getting here. All right, Pisces, let's do one of these career and money. It sounds appropriate because this is talking about your craft, your potential, Pisces. Listen, even if it has to do about love, let me, t let me show you how, what it is. It's like, maybe people don't believe in this person so much, or maybe they don't know this person the way you know this person. Trust your gut, trust your intuition, do what you feel is right and do not listen to what other people are telling you to do. Basically, that's what I'm getting. All right, let's pull one or two cards. Spirit, tell me more unemployment one more and a deadline all right let's do one more saving money oh, looked at the bottom. paying bills all right Pisces this is what I'm getting there's gonna be a do or die situation for you yes there is a do I'm sorry there is a do or die situation here um, I feel like God wants you to go into this direction that could be very abundant for you. I feel like you definitely are gaining energy, like strength or momentum for it, Pisces. Just be realistic and smart. Not everything jumps up like the way you want it to right away. Make sure you save money. Make sure you're prepared for it. There is a deadline. Like the way I see it, unemployment and deadline, There, this will end. This place of not having enough will end. Save your money. In time, you'll be able to pay those bills. You know what I'm getting, Pisces? There's some bills that are out there that you think you're, you're never going to pay. But in time, if you use your craft, if you use your abilities, next thing you know, you'll be writing out checks to pay it off in full balance. That's what I'm getting here. And I want you to remember me when you do this. When that loan that you took out that you're like, uh-oh, never paid that thing again back. That's going to be there forever. And one day you follow your craft. You do whatever it is that you love to do. You save the money. And then it's like, I'm running a check for the full amount. I want you to remember me. But it's all going to be because two things. One, you were chosen for this. You put in the work for this. And you didn't listen to any, but any naysayers about this. It's like you picked your own direction, Pisces, and you went for it. You went for it. Don't be scared, Pisces. I don't feel you scared at all. You know what happens to you, Pisces? Once you get into a place of passion, it becomes a place of power. And I feel this passion becoming powerful. And I love how that came out, Pisces. Write that check, pay it off in full one day, you'll see. Remember me, because that's gonna be a beautiful moment for you. For some of you, I'm also getting you to play, play the pick four when it comes to lottery. There's number 31, 32, but play the pick four I'm also getting. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Inner voice. 
<laughs> Pisces and courage. It's whole, so hard to believe in ourselves, isn't it? You think it was easy for me to sit here? I'm just giving the cards again as an example because of the pictures. You think this was easy? I can't even show my face. It's not easy. Let alone with, you know, having a life like children, boyfriends, mothers, you know, it's not easy. You, and then you got to stay calm, peaceful, patient, clean, clear, you know, in order to come here and really read the messages properly. And it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of stillness, you know, to be able to hear what the universe is trying to say. And you have an ability. And you, you're like, I feel all those steps within you somehow, Pisces. I feel like it's coming for you. The courage to trust what direction you want to go is here. It's right here. To listen to yourself, it's here, Pisces. Go get it, Pisces. You deserve it. You earned it. You worked for it. That's the feeling that I'm getting there. Pay off in full, Pisces. All right, Pisces, I hope you liked the reading. Please like and subscribe, and thank you.